Well, hello there, and good evening, everybody. I'm uh, William Brantley from South Jackson, Tennessee, or Bemis, Tennessee, ready to share with you today's climate summary and give you a forecast for the next few days momentarily. Uh, as of 5 p.m. this evening, uh, Sunday evening, Sunday, July the 8th, 2018, as of 5 p.m., the skies are partly cloudy here in Bemis. The temperature at that time is 84 degrees. Uh, the dew point is 77 degrees. The humidity was at 79 percent. We had south winds at 6 miles per hour, and the barometric pressure was 30.16 inches of mercury. Today's low temperature was 73 degrees here in Bemis. The high today made it up to 88 degrees. One more day, just below 90. Tomorrow. It'd probably go above 90, just a little. Maybe. Uh, we'll see tomorrow, won't we? <laughs> Actually, here around, uh, during the 4 p.m. hour, I had a little light shower to move through Bemis. Uh, left me with four hundredths of an inch of rainfall here. Uh, since midnight, of course. Uh, lowest humidity would be 70%, and that was at 4 p.m. Uh, I think that shower missed the uh, airport, though. Uh, oh well, that happens sometimes. Here lately, a lot of times it's been hitting the airport and missing me. But I got just the opposite today. Alright, the highest humidity was 100% today at 6 a.m. this morning. Uh, lowest dew point temperature was 72 degrees at uh, 12 a.m., while the highest was 77 degrees at uh, 12 and uh, 3 p.m. Lowest barometric pressure today was 30.12 inches, and that occurred at 3 a.m., while the highest was 30.22 inches, and that occurred at 12 noon. Today's highest wind gust at the airport was 16 miles per hour out of the east, uh, sometime between 12 a.m. through 5 p.m. Today's records were July the 8th. Hottest high would be 102 degrees in 1980. Coolest high would be 80 in 1958. Warmest low would be 79 degrees in 1980. And the warmest, coldest low weather would be 59 in 1972. Today's rainfall record, 2.39 inches, and that fell in 1979. All righty, that's pretty much it for the climate data. Let me show you... Uh, Channel 3's radar tonight because uh, out of Memphis, WREG, because there's no severe weather. Uh, theirs doesn't show, they theirs does show the alerts, but I'm not going to get into all that. Uh, and instead of showing you, uh, maybe I should have showed you the weather services. I could branch out further. I ah, never mind. Don't worry about it. Ah. Uh, let me see. Let me turn it around so you can see it too. We're in fairly good shape here in. Uh, Jackson this hour, even though according to their radar, there's a real little tiny little shower trying to uh, move into South Jackson, matter of fact. Whoops, that went a little too far. I'm <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, looks like we're right along the eastern side of uh, Highway 45 South. Looks like there's one just east of. Uh, Henderson down there as well. It, the boat, they're both are moving uh, northwest. So if you happen to be out there traveling and you're near the Bemis area on the east side of, uh, of uh, Highway 45 South and you see a few sprinkles hitting your uh, windshield, you know why. No heavy rain by any means. The heavy stuff is... Um, Still, still, uh, well, west, east of us, west of us. I can get my directions straight. Uh, there was some along the uh, Mississippi River, as you can see. Let me get my box and camera together correctly. And you see earlier there was some along the Mississippi River. They have since dissipated, and they will continue to do that now that the sun's going down. Uh, has gone down. There's no more coming our way for the night, so we're in the clear for that. Uh, I just thought I'd show you that real quick, like. 
Uh, look at this uh, satellite picture. It looks beautiful this evening. Clear skies in general in our area. Few spotty clouds here and there. Most of the clouds are heavier, thicker clouds are down to Mississippi. Portions of Alabama moving northward. That may be our cloud cover for tomorrow. We did have some clouds here during the daytime that actually held the temperature down below 90 degrees for a high. We might de deal with that again tomorrow around sunrise or so. I'm not expecting any rain tomorrow though, not at this time. I'll put it that way. Alright, uh, more look at the forecast uh, here in just a moment. Make that camera a little steadier if I can. A good shot of the southeast right there, the cloud cover. Alright. Let's look at the current surface map thanks to uh, the Weather Channel. And it looks like, uh, whoops, wrong one. Yep. There we go. According to the Weather Channel this evening. Let me see if I can get that down a little bit lower. There we go. You see, we see an odd looking stationary front. Uh, out in the ocean, there. Comes into Georgia, swings up and through East Tennessee, on up into Kentucky, swings back around to the west, north of us, uh, just south of St. Louis, and come on down and swings back around at the eastern side of uh, Oklahoma. And that's going to contribute in a little bit to to the sporadic little tiny showers that's trying to form. And you see as of the timing of this uh, map where they are nationally uh, speaking. 1821, that would be 721 p.m. hour and 15, 20 minutes ago roughly. There you see the other highs and lows and systems across the country. Uh, Cold flood forming up there in Canada. Trying to move down into the Great Lakes area. A little rain out in the Rocky Mountains of western U.S. And there you see where the other highs and lows are. Troughs, that's what that dotted, dotted black lines are. A weak cold front, basically. And there's a close-up view of uh, our area. We're in pretty good shape overall for July, middle of July. Well, alrighty. Let's move on to the weather forecast. All right, let me get this situated to where I can read it and you can see it and all at the same time. Uh, generally speaking, we're back to fair skies, will be soon anyways, now that it's gotten past lunch. We had a 30% chance of a late afternoon or early evening shower and thunderstorm. You saw those on the radar just moments ago. Most, most of them are dying down or dissipating down at the sun has set and they will continue to do so and uh, skies will basically remain fair overnight till about noon tomorrow or mid, mid morning around 9 or 10 o'clock tomorrow morning and then the skies will become very be cloudy again until sunset tomorrow night and then become go back to fair again <laughs> back and forth the weather up and down roller coaster in a sense in this, in this case is a cloud cover uh, the sun set tonight at 8.13, it's already down, uh, it'll be rising tomorrow at, uh, I still ain't got the right button, uh, that one should be the one that's, there we go, there we go, hit the wall there, I got the right button, apologize for a little, uh, forget me not function there, <laughs> Like I said, fair skies tomorrow to at least mid-morning, then very be cloudy at the sunset, and then fair once again. Again, the sun rises uh, tomorrow morning at 5.47 a.m., sets tomorrow evening at 8.13 p.m. The moon will be rising um, tomorrow morning at uh, 2.39 a.m. and be setting at 4.38 p.m. tomorrow afternoon. 
low 71, high of 89. Ah, we got one more day of a high below 90 degrees. Hallelujah. I uh, have uh, we'll have southeast winds at 10 to 20 miles per hour tomorrow. On Tuesday, hit 90 degrees again. <laughs> and it'll be back. Uh, very big cloudy conditions on Tuesday, so we're going to have some clouds and sun uh, on Tuesday, kind of back and forth. Uh, with a 40% chance of a few showers and thunderstorms, mainly during the morning hours, but ending around noon, then becoming fair, low of 71, high of 90, with north winds of 10 to 20 miles per hour. Wednesday, we're back to fair skies all day, uh, with low of 73, high of 93, with north winds at 10 to 20 miles per hour. About the same thing Thursday and Friday, uh, oh Lord, Friday the 13th, I just saw that. At 68, not, by, not by nice and cool for a low. I'm 94 on that day. Uh, looks like next chance for rain is uh, beyond tomorrow in a sense. Uh, really beyond tonight in a way, the best chance anyways. is not till next Monday, July 16th, when there's only a 30% chance of scattered afternoon showers and thunderstorms on that day. Alright, that's pretty much it for this evening. I hope you enjoy this Sunday evening. I hope it's beautiful for you. I uh, hope you have sweet dreams and wake up to a beautiful Monday, July the 9th, 2018. And I guess that does it for me. So, uh, oh, let me get back on me. <laughs> or near me at least. Well, I hope you enjoyed the weekend, enjoyed the Sunday. I had okay. It was alright for me. And again, good night. God bless you. And I hope to talk to you again soon. Uh, again, thanks for watching and all your nice comments and subscribing. I appreciate it. I believe we got 150 subscribers, and I appreciate that. And I'm trying to follow those of you who are following me, and I get notified of it and follow you back. Uh, thank you. Good night, and God bless you, and talk to you later.